Hello, welcome my girl budgeting crew. Welcome to today's video. I am, as you can see, I am doing an above, above, no, a different video <laughs> on a different day. My intro um, before my actual savings that I'm going to be doing. Um, I just wanted to jump on because I didn't have an intro for the next video um, that's going to be coming up. But I just wanted to jump on, guys. Thank you all for joining and participating and just being here, guys. If you are new to my channel, please um, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video of savings that I got planned out. This is actually going to be a new game release that I'm going to be doing. Um, and it is going to be available on my Etsy shop if you guys are interested in this these games. These are retro games that I created. Nostalgic 80s games that I used to love as a kid. And I thought about bringing them back, you know, in play as far as savings. But, um, but yeah, guys, so I just wanted to jump on ahead of time um, and get this intro in. And just, guys, introduce... Because um, I know it's probably going to cut right into um, what I was going to show case for the games. Basically, it's just six six or seven different games that you're going to be, um, be able to play, save on a low, low, very low budget. Um, so this is a game that I'm starting and that I'm going to partake as well on my challenges and new videos. I plans that I have ahead of, you know, the new year, well, in the new year, <laughs> but I just wanted to go ahead and do that, and let's go ahead and get my, um, our inspirational card read today, because I feel like I haven't done it, I think I did it on my video last time two, twice, but mind you guys, I had done it, done that video, like, split up within hours of each other. Plus, I think I was up till like 3 a.m. So, <laughs> if you guys caught that, I did have two cards. So, on this one, guys, we're going to pull, it says, pull another card from your tarot deck. How funny is that? <laughs> it basically tells you, pull, get another card. So, let's go ahead and do that. See what this says. It says, pra practice ch chakra healing, chakra healing. Um, so, I'm not familiar with that. I mean, I've heard of it. I'm not familiar with it, it all entails, but if you guys want to Google it, you know, practice chakra healing. I'll probably end up Googling it at myself. Keep it here. That way I can use it as a reminder. And look it up and see. I know it's spiritual. I'm not just not familiar with that type of uh, spiritual healing anyways guys so enjoy the video and again if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel that way you guys can know when I upload videos when I'm doing giveaways which we are almost to the halfway point to 200 well I mean we're already at a hundred and something but once I get to those 200 I'm gonna do another giveaway also um, Guys, I will be doing a lot. I've already got my goals, my um, my plans ahead of um, filming as far as videos, releases that I want to go ahead and start working on um, that I can get you. I'm, I want to do something, a lot of different videos. So I'm going to be, I'm probably going to be trying to double, <clears throat> double up on videos. Plus I had been working on a lot of my savings, moving savings around, and I'll probably record that and show you guys that as well as um, as time goes on. But yes, but stay tuned, guys. So we have. Let me see. If I can zoom in a little bit here. So I created this fun little retro game, game retro game that we're going now. See, I zoomed in too much. 
I created this a cute little retro game. These are somewhat, you know, mimics of old, um, not old, classic. We'll say classic. <laughs> classic games that I used to play when I was younger. And so I decided to go ahead and make my own little rendition of a cute little board game. These are my retro games. And so basically with these, we have, and I'm going to introduce each one, and I'm only going to play with a dollar on each one to get them started. I'm not, I'm not, maybe I'll, let's see, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. We'll play with two dollars each for each one, okay? Depending on this. So basically the retro, retro game is, each game is listed out on my little board dashboard here. These are all the games that are included in here. What I have to do is roll two dice. Whatever those two dice fall on is the challenge that I'm going to be working on. I don't know if you guys can see that. So once I do that, then I jump onto this game and then move into saving those challenges, okay? I'm let me see how much I actually have. Let's let's play by ear because I'm I say I'm gonna only put two dollars to it. I just want to get it started, but let's let's play by ear, okay? We may just wait, um, or I might just go ahead and use what I have. Uh, and this guy's is available gonna be available on my Etsy if it's not there yet. It should be, it should be on there. Um, I have been working on it for a good while. It took a minute to figure out stuff, but I figured it out, and now we can go ahead and get started. Um, I will say, yeah, the quality um, coloring, if you use your home printer, is not that great because these are very bold colors. But if you do, you know, end up getting them professionally printed, then um, you'll get a lot better quality, which I plan to do that. I just, these wanted to um, introduce these ones okay so let's go ahead and get my dice okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna start with our first one let me move this over here Okay. First two numbers is a five and one. Five one. So you can do one of two ways. You can go five one, which is Cubert, or we can go one five, which is Galaxy Battle. So Galaxy, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Cubert. Okay. So. You get choices by rolling the dice. You get to choose at least two times, with the exception of 1-1 one, one and 6-6. Six, six. Um, well, the doubles, you know. You know how that works. <laughs> so, we got... So, I'm going to go ahead and jump into Qbert for 1-5. And Qbert... Let's, let's get Qbert out. This one is called Never Ending Cubert. All right, so basically this is Cubert, guys. This is a pyramid. If you guys aren't familiar with Cubert, Cubert was back in the 80s, guys. Back in the 80s, Atari days. <laughs> you would actually get a little alien that would bounce from each pyramid to get to whatever the ending, wherever the end was. And little aliens or little snakes or caterpillars, I can't remember what they were, would drop in. And if they landed on you or caught up to you, then you were out. So with this one, guys, we're going to do, let's see. So to start is $5. We're not going to start with $5. We're going to start with $2, okay? You roll your dice and move to any direction. If you land on odd pay 
one dollar even pay two dollars um, play as many times as you like it is never ending cubert or you can alternate roll and do it more challenging where you roll one or two dice pay the amount that you land on okay so with that I'm going to See, this was the other one I made, but these are very dark. Not even, let's see, randomize. Yeah, so it's five letters, so I chose if you roll, meaning if you roll one through six, those are what um, each of them are going to be. Okay? So, for B, we have six. So six dollars for B, or six, um, every six that I land on. So, and I'm going, I'm still not done with these. I mean, I'm, I gotta uh, laminate these, but I don't want to mark on these ones because I'm going to laminate these ones. <laughs> I know guys, it's, I should have been more prepared, but I wasn't going to actually introduce this one yet. I was actually going to introduce another game but um that one isn't done so i i was like i want to play these games i gotta get these the ball rolling on these games so i'm going to go ahead and put b equals six okay and then i n g o okay so six cannot be used again okay because whenever we're doing bingo we're going to try to go for a straight line and we need each of those numbers to pop up that fall on the letter that they are assigned to okay and i should have just rolled one six no i don't okay two for i so i is going to be two Six again, oh my gosh. Two, three, three for N, That's the numbers one is G, and five is O. So four is free space. So four is free. Okay, if we get a four, then we can mark off anywhere okay so you know what let me go ahead and because I'm only doing six so okay I mean I'm only doing two dollars okay so we're going to roll that dice and do a number four And guess what, guys? I forgot I got these. These, again, are at Dollar Tree. My little bingo markers. So we got four, which is free space. I know, guys, I should have been more prepared than this. but <laughs> Okay, so we're going to just do a couple, little handful of these to use as my bingo marker. Okay. All right. And typically you would laminate these and you could mark them off with your sperm, uh, your Sharpie or something. Okay, so we got four. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on this $4 and I. So we're going to jump on I. What we're trying to do is get one straight bingo. If you get one straight bingo, either crosswise or... Um, Horizontal, horizontal or vertical, that is one dollar. If you get diagonal bingo, then that is two dollars. Okay. All right. Five. Five is O. So we're gonna put our O here. 
four is another freebie. So we'll do, let's do three right here. Double our chances. Four again. So we can go again. Let's go here. Hmm. We might get a new thing. Bingo. Number five. Five is O again, guys. One more and we have a bingo. Number one. It would do that G. So we'll do G. We'll go ahead and go. Let's go right here for G. Okay. Number one is G again. So let's do. I guess it really doesn't matter. We'll go right here. Number five is O. And we got a bingo, guys. And bingo for a straight bingo is one dollar. So we pay our dollar. If I can get my dollar. Okay, we got our one dollar here. Okay, now we get to start one more. And we're only going to probably play with just the one dollar left. Even if we got a diagonal bingo, I'm going to just play with one dollar. So we have a two. Two is I. Let's make it go a little faster now, guys. Now that we've got the gist of it. G. Two again is I. Two again, I. Three is in. So we can go right here. Five O. So we can go right here. Another five. Number six is B. An alternate, guys, too, is if you wanted to go ahead and make it more challenging, also, is if you got a straight bingo. I did put amounts in those. So if you wanted to play with the larger amount for each of those that you hit, you could. Put that money aside for that. Okay, six again is B. We have, we need one more, guys. Just one more. Number three. Three is in. So we're going to go right here. Number one. Number one is G. And we got a straight bingo, guys. Bingo across, which is a dollar. Another dollar. So that is that. All right. So we got that one done. Put my little bingo. What are those called in there? Chips. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and move over to our next challenge one four which is burger time so burger time burger time on this one guys is going to be where you each you're making your burger so burger time is you're making your little burger here and what you do is for each condiment or each you know ingredient that you're adding to your burger is how much you're going to put toward your bean, um, burger um, for this one, I'm not going to do this. Well, you know what? Let's use our change. We'll use our quarters. That's what I got these for, right? So, for this one, for burger time, so I'm going to go ahead and put 
5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 25, 15, okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay, so 5, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents, 25 cents, and 30 cents. Okay, for each of those. So the five for the top bun. Tomato is um the tomato is ten, lettuce is fifteen, cheese is twenty twenty, pickles is twenty-five, and the bottom is thirty cents. The bottom bun. Okay. So and you can play as many times as you want. You can play to complete each of these. And I'm going to go ahead and do roll the dice. Whichever number I'm going to complete. Whatever number I'm going to start from 1 to 4. Okay. 1 to 4. We have 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are going to be making this just a regular hamburger with veggies. Okay. <laughs> All right, so our first one is, of course, our top bun, which is five cents. So we have our five. Okay, and then our patty is, um, oh, I forgot the patty, is 35 cents. 35 cents for the patty, so we're going to add a quarter. Twenty-five and a dime. I know I saw a dime a minute ago. Maybe not. I have a bunch of them, guys. <laughs> They come at the bunch come in these, so 25, 30, 25, 35, and okay, so there's our 35 cents. And then we have our lettuce. Our lettuce is 15 cents, so we're gonna put 10 and a 5, okay. And then we have our tomato, which is 10 cents, so we're gonna put two nickels. And then we have our cute our pickle. Pickle is twenty five cents. So we'll put another a quarter. And then we have our top bun. Our top bun is what is our top bun? Five cents. So we'll get. A okay, guys. I am back. I am back. Sorry, I had to um, charge up my. Well, no, I, I don't know. Yeah, what my battery was going, gone. <laughs> so we are going to continue. So we played, um, we completed this burger. Um, we were playing burger time. So again, we're, we marked off some change that we're playing to $2 only. Once we hit $2, we will come, you know, finish the, the game. So. Next, we're going to go ahead and jump into the regular, just plain cheeseburger. So, first is, of course, the bottom bun. Bottom bun is 30 cents. So, we're going to put 25, 30. So, right here, this is already a dollar. So, from that first burger we got, we got a dollar. Now we have 25 cents, okay? So we need 75 more cents. Our bun, I mean our burger patty is 35 cents. So we can get some more change. Okay, so 35 cents, so we'll go ahead and add a quarter and a dime. So 
So now we have just 60 more cents left. And then we have cheese, which is Twenty cents. Okay, so we got twenty cents. Let's go ahead and get a couple more dimes out here. So now we are at eighty cents. We have twenty more cents left, guys. Twenty more cents left. And then we have the top bun. So the top bun is another five cents, okay? So right there we have 50, 60, 70, 85, 85 cents, guys. So we, I will say we have hit our $2 mark, okay? So we're going to pull $2 and put it to the side, okay? So that is that completed for that one. You could continue, I mean, you can play this one as many times as you want, and you can actually do each one, complete it, and then the next time do another one around, and change up your dollars, or change up your amount, however you want, but, so that's pretty much it on that part, on that one. Let's go ahead and separate our coins again. We added our two dollars. And guys, this is going to be a digital download. If I am going to do a physical one um, as well, um, I just haven't got that one ready yet. So right now, the digital download is available. And you guys, by the time this video comes out, it might be already out for the the next um well by the time I release this video I'll probably already be on my website on Etsy. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our board game. Our and let's see. Well I need both of them. So we have six and one or one one and six. So let's go ahead and go to Galaxy Battle. So this is Galaxy Battle. Okay. So with Galaxy Battle, this one is roll the two dice. And then move to designated count. If it lands on even, pay $2. Odd, pay $1. Okay. Or you can alternate, roll the, roll the dice wherever you land, pay that amount, okay? So, we're going to start here, roll the dice, I'm going to roll two dice, we're going to see where we land, five, one, two, three, four, five, odd number is one dollar, so here's one dollar, and then we need to get another odd number to get that two dollars. So another five, one, two, three, four. Wait. Okay, one, two, four, one, two, I'm just gonna start it all over. <laughs> Cause I lost my, I lost what I was doing. One, two, three, four, five, another three. So we're going to go ahead and put that odd is $1. So we'll pay $2 and that is that. Pretty much this game can continue as long as you, I mean, if you wanted to set $5 for it and just pay out, play out until you hit those $5, complete those dollars and just randomly, you know, go in any direction you want. Or you can just, you know, roll the dice. If you land on two, that's all you're going to pay. If you roll the dice and you land it on five, then you pay five. I mean, it's every time you want to. This game can continue on. So that's what I like about these games is that 
you can continue on as long as you and play it however you uh, best fit okay so that one is done guys and I'm going to go ahead and exchange five dollars so I can have some more ones to play with okay all right because I have two more games that I want to get through since we've already gotten through um, a majority of them. We just have two more games I think we lack. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what... Okay, so we have a four and a five. Okay, four and five is safe skis. So this is pretty much easy. Um, this one here is basically like Yahtzee. You have game one, two, three, four, five, six. Play as many times as you want. On here it says same rules as Yahtzee. Roll the dice. Roll five dice. Five die and match to each category. If you complete all the categories in game, pay five dollars. If not all if not all is completed and you and you had and had to zero out a category, roll the number of zeros you have and pay that amount or pay even or odd. So that's how we're gonna play this pay this play this one. So I need five die for this one. Let me get I know I have some a lot more dice somewhere. I don't remember where I put it. So basically you're playing Yahtzee guys, but you're going to, the plan is to basically um, basically just complete, you have to complete the whole game, pay that amount of five dollars, or you can, you can even pay as you, as you complete each category. If you have aces, the number of aces, the number of two aces is one, the number of twos, number of threes, number of fours, number of fives, number of six. If you get three of a kind, you can pay the three of a kind that you get, four of a kind, full house, full house is if you have a pair, and then three of a kind, so that's five. Straight, small straight is if you have one, two, three, four, so large straight is if you have all five dice that um and then and then yahtzee is a five of a kind and then we have our total okay so let's go ahead and start and see what we roll so we have some threes and twos we have so i'm gonna go with our three and two we're gonna go for a full house and you get three rolls for each category you're gonna hit and here we go so I have three twos and two threes so that's a full house so I would go ahead and mark that off okay oh, I'm gonna do it on here so I would mark off a full house Okay, is complete. Okay, let me do it this way. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, three kind, four kind, full house, small straight, large straight, Yahtzee. 
okay and so full house we got so now we move on to the next category so we have one three four we have a pair of sixes we have a four a three and a one I think I'm gonna go for my sixes so we have two sixes I got the same number we got three sixes and that's our third roll so we got four sixes I can either do four sixes or I can do four of a kind in which I'm gonna do four of a kind so okay and basically I wrote out the each of these and I'm just mark checking them off on my paper since I haven't laminated guys keep that in mind I am going to laminate those I jumped the gun on trying to play this I wanted I was ready to play it <laughs> but it's just a way you can alternate it so okay we got sixes again I'm gonna go for the sixes again more sixes and we got another six and then we got no sixes we said, but we got three of a kind so I'm gonna go with three of a kind because those are the hardest to get okay now we start over and you can play up to six games on this guys. all right so we have one two I'm gonna try to go for our large straight so we have the no was that a one or just a two well, let's go ahead and go for twos I thought it was a one but it's only twos so I'm gonna go for twos so we have two twos we got another two and so we got three twos so twos are complete okay Okay, we got ones, so we're going to go for our ones. Nothing. And then we have one more one, so. Okay. And the ones are out. Okay, let's go. Is two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go for our large straight. So I have two, three, five, six. I need to get a four. So I have two rolls. Maybe I get a four. And there it is, guys. So we got our large straight. That one can be marked off. So we have twos. We already got our twos. We need sixes. Six, five, four. We can go for our small straight. And that's only four numbers you need instead of five. Five of counting one through six or one through five or okay, so all I need is a three. No three. And no three. So I can either mark off my fours, fives, or sixes. Let me go ahead and do my fours. So we have two fours. Okay, we have two twos a three a one and a six I need five six a small straight or a large or a Yahtzee so let's do one two three let's see if we get a four and there's our four and that's a small straight it's Four, four of the dice that are counting. So we got our small straight. 
So next big one is our Yahtzee. We need a threes, fives, and sixes. Okay, so we got three fives. So let's go with that one. No fives. And no fives, but we got three fives. We need our fives, so that's checked off. We haven't had to zero out any yet. So, <clears throat> so sixes or threes and a Yahtzee. So we have one six. We'll go with that. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> None of those numbers I need. Oh, we got our sixes. So we got three sixes. We can mark that off. Next is only threes and Yahtzee. So let's see. I'm going to go with the threes. We only got one three. Ooh. Nothing. And no other threes, but one, but we got one at least. Next is our Yahtzee, if, and that's, we can't zero that out. We need to get it at least, oh. Okay, we got two fives, so we'll keep those and try to go for the fives. We got one five. Come on, give me two fives, two fives, that's all I need. Nope. So that one means I would have to zero out. And that completes that game one. So for game, if you did not, if you rolled out a zero, so <clears throat> I rolled, well, if you, if not all completed is completed and you, and had to zero out a category, which I did one, Roll that number of zeros. You have to pay that amount or pay even odd. So we will roll one die and it's a four. So even, pay even or pay odd. Our even is, of course, two dollars. So that really completes this game. Now, if I didn't use up the two dollars, and maybe I went with the change, then I could have, I could move on to the next game and so on and so forth. Okay. But for all purposes, we've completed our two dollars in this game. Okay. So the next one. Is two. I'm going to try to get Kong Kong. Four, five. Five, four. One, three. One, three. Nope. Two, two sixes here. Nope. Six, two. Nope. We're wanting to get, we'll, we'll do a couple more rolls, guys. And there it is. One, two. Kong Kong. We're going to play Kong Kong. <laughs> Which is a take of Donkey Kong. <clears throat> so, this is Donkey Kong, or Kong Kong, my version of Donkey Kong. But, this one is, so you have this cute little your little guy here and he has to walk up the you know try to get up to exit before Donkey Kong can stop him right so we're gonna what you're gonna do is you set your footprints for the amount <clears throat> that you're going to want to save okay um, but we're gonna play uh, odd even odd so I'll use the pink and the green is gonna be even blue and red is odd 
okay? So, and I'm only going to do three rolls on this one. So wherever I land on the three rolls, if it's green, it's odd. Even if it's red, it's odd. So we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're now we're into the even column. Okay. <clears throat> Next one is four. One, two, three, four. Now we're in, back into the even or odd. Odd. <clears throat> and our last roll, guys. So we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is pink, which was even for two dollars. And so that is game. So pretty much that is it, guys. That is um, pretty much the retro games that I created. Again, this is our Cubert, ne Never Ending Cubert. We have Bingo. And these are just fun ways that you can actually, you know, incorporate using your dice for all these different games. Safe skis. I love safe skis. I think that's going to be my next, like my favorite game so far. So, and then of course your game board to let you know which, what game challenges you're going to be playing. And you can set limits to yourself. Say you only, you're only going to roll three times for the games. It's up, it's entirely up to you how, how you want to play these. And then we have our galaxy battle. And then Burger Time and Kong Kong. So guys, these will be available on my um, Etsy shop. So if you guys are interested in this, it will be available. If you are, right now it's going to be the digital download. I am working on getting the, you know, the um, all the little fun stuff that you could use along, like I used the little bingo markers as well as the coins and so on and so forth. I'm working on the um, actual physical part of it but digital download if you guys are interested it is available and you guys can just get your own dice and you laminate it, print it out, laminate it. I would say get it professionally printed so you can have the full value uh, effect of the colors but also um, laminate it and you can reuse it as many times as you want but with that guys i'm gonna go ahead and call it a day i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't have not yet followed me or subscribe please subscribe that way you guys can know when i do my next uploads and giveaways are coming out left and right from me so with that guys i'm gonna go ahead and shove off much love and let me see <laughs> much love and i will see you in the next video bye